All right, time to do this. Oh! Now, buddy, we have all been grinding the career mode in the Microsoft Flight Simulator recently. You know, I'm supposed to bring some passengers. To be exact, these passengers right here. Hello, sir. To a place called Steamboat Springs or whatever. We're gonna make hella cash with that. But the problem is in order to do that, we need to fully do this flight. And it's gonna take around two hours. So you could just take off runway 03. We could just turn on the autopilot right here. Come on, let's do that. Yes, we could sit here for a while indeed, but something we really don't wanna do is press out N to skip the descent to make this flight go a little bit faster because that's gonna make us lose quite a lot of money. No, we're gonna use the top tip of the day and employ a little bit of a hack called SimRate. We all know that one at this point. With this, you can make your game run faster or slower. Look, we can press the button once, so it goes faster, twice, goes faster, thrice, or four times. Now the flight simulator sped up to 16 times, which definitely should save us time, but also you gotta risk crashing your airplane because you quickly overspeed. You really should only let the autopilot fly. If you hand fly your airplane here, they're gonna probably crash. In fact, we can even hold down the button right here to make the flight go even faster. Take a look at the fastest ever Cirrus Vision Jet. Look at that, the landscape doesn't even load in. Okay, anyway, I now thought it would be a fun challenge to do some proper flighting, hand flying with an increased sim rate. For that, I have installed a plugin, which is called Sim Rate Selector. Here we can kind of, you know, very much hands-on select a speed of what sim rate we want this to run. You can download it on flightsim.to and it already works with the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Look at this, we're at the beautiful Santa Catalina airfield and we're in front of our A320. Now we can already kind of, come on, <laughs> times four speed. <laughs> See how this works, maybe even, oh yeah, we can even go times 16 speed, which shall be crazy. And we can even see, oh, we're the fastest man. We're Usain Bolt. Whoa, all right, hello, lady. She's probably on fentanyl, as you can tell. She's maybe tweaking. Also, the windsock in the background is quite interesting. Look at that, we're even running in 16 times speed. I think this is genius, and this will definitely help our attention span deprived brains. You know, everything will go a little bit faster now. So let's go ahead and see if we can start at this airplane at 16 times sim rate. Even our co-pilot without eyebrows is tweaking. And something that's interesting is that it's very much impacting performance. Obviously, my computer now has to simulate at 16 times. So let's start with the batteries. And I think this airplane startup should work without any issues and should go really fast. Let's turn on the APU. All right, never mind. I think the airplane systems are actually simulated in real time, no matter what the sim rate is. So it's going to take 40 seconds to self-test. Anyway, come on, let's make this easy for us and just make this airplane ready for takeout right here. Panel state. Yes, and those engines are already running. I think let's do this. We have our chalk still attached. We have to jump out. So hold on, let's do that. Ah, oh, can be a little bit hard to do. Jesus Christ, my FPS is horrible. Come on, chalk's removed. And it's now time to see if we can properly fly. I'm kind of almost scared already to taxi. Let's see what that looks like. So parking brake release. Ah, oh. Yeah, okay, you taxi really in smallest of increments. Come on, turn right. Oh, we've already, we've already cracked. Okay, taxiing is quite a bit of a challenge. Come on, let's set back. Come on, taxi carefully, taxi carefully. Sam, just giving in a little bit of, come on. I'm, rudder is full to the right. Whoa, we've run over a per, okay, taxiing is absolutely hopeless in 16 times speed. Let's maybe try like, Four, eight times. Should be a bit easier. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. We're already in trees. We're or, we, we might want to, we might want to see if we can spawn ourselves on the runway. All right. So we found out that information already. Taxing can be a little bit of a challenge, but let's get back to 16 times speed now and try taking off right here. Come on. Let's go full power into those engines and see if we can fly. Maybe set the flaps down as well. Jesus Christ. My flight simulator is really lagging now. All right. Time to do this. Oh, Okay, here we go. We're now at 16 times speed. That was a great takeoff. You guys just see that? Um, maybe flying at 16 times speed is a little bit impossible. Look at this. We're now kind of moving across the Atlantic Ocean faster than any plane ever has. So, uh, this is great. Maybe we should try to land, but with a little bit of less sim rate and see, you know, how much works. How much can I work with? All right, now Catalina Island. Look at that. Runway is over there. We're now running at, you know, real-time speed. Let's maybe set this to, like, 
two times and see how landing works. Genuinely, I would like to try this. Okay, come on. We still look very fast. Problem is the ground speed down there is not actually showing our speed here. We just have to kind of like take it twice. So we're now landing at around 300 knots considering the sim rate. I wonder if I can even make a smooth landing at all. Look at how fast the runway is coming at us. Come on. Uh, we're very fast. This is very scary. All right, runway 2, 2 coming up. All right, that was a hard landing, but we should be able to stop very fast too because, well, it's running at twice the sim speed. There you go. This is work. So I guess we should move this up to four times the speed. I would quite like a bit of a longer runway though. All right, here we now are at Los Angeles Airport. Now we can put the landing gear down and right now the autopilot is flying the airplane. Yes, auto land is happening. And I was wondering, you know what? Let's pause the game real quick and also please make it but good weather again. Yeah, this is our runway. How does Autoland cope with um, sim rates? So for example, two times speed works fine. Autopilot's still flying. We've got two autopilots engaged, so Autoland is fully active indeed. So let me go X4 and see what the airplane does. Is it able to fly? Is it able to land? Come on, Autopilot. Give me the best you can do at four times the speed. Oh, okay, that was a, that was a landing. Oh, help, it's crashing itself and it's, it's dying and that was look that was quick parking and you know the autopilot managed to land actually quite well we need to make this a little bit harder then let's maybe try this at eight times the speed come on all right so let's do this runway zero seven left ahead and let's go ahead and fire oh wow whoa let's do eight times speed and see if i can land i mean the autopilot landed at four times let's record this all right let's be really careful now come on sim times eight speed landing is coming up all is looking actually quite good you can see it's a little shaky shut up autopilot Come on, eight times speed, we should be able to land. We've got now, what, 800 knots or more on the clock. Runway is down there. Can be a little hard. All right, runway is down there. Come on, let's touch down. Whoa, okay. Runway is down there. Whoa. All right, auto, okay, uh, airport, oh my God. Okay, there we go. Problem is, you very quickly stall out. You have to make sure not to get too low on speed. Otherwise, the Airbus autopilot will kick in. All right, that hasn't worked. All right, time for a retry. Let's just try any runway right here. Make sure to not go super slow. Okay, down there is a runway. We can do it. We can do it. Come on. Whoa, whoa. Oh, my. It is genuinely impossible. All right, here we go. Land runway is down there. Oh my god, it is genuinely impossible to fly at eight times the speed. There we go, that's not work. I think indeed the best you can do is four times the speed. I mean, look at this miserable attempt of trying to taxi here. It's funny, even not even the Los Angeles airport scenery won't... Oh. Ah, there you go, that's kind of redirected. Airplane has a mind of its own, great. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> but with four times the speed. I'm sure I can do just as well as the autopilot. Runway is down there. This is a whole lot better. It's a little shaky here. Problem is that your minor oscillations that you do with your hand really has a big effect on your stability. But look at that. Airplane now flies actually okay. Although we're landing at a 400 knots, but this is working. Come on, let's land now. Smooth touchdown. Yes, there we go. That's kind of worked. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody, yes, you can fly it for... Look at that stop. Four times the speed. Not bad at all. Let's maybe see if we can butter, though. Like an A330 should be usable. The FPS are horrible still. All right, landing gear down. Very stable approach. No worries at all. We're a little bit fast, but, you know, we're kind of fast anyway. We're now at, what, 800 knots. Ah! Whoa! The problem is the Airbus fly-by-wire really reacts a little bit delayed, and this makes it a lot harder. Stop. This is tomfoolery. Not a big fan of that at all. Let's keep her very stable. Just barely some flight control input. Just let the airplane land itself. Right now, it works a lot stay more stable. Down there's the runway. Just make sure to land on that one. Come on. Little shaky here. Little shaky. Oh, it's fine. Are you guys ready for the fastest landing ever? Yeah. Oh, there is an airplane coming at us. Oh. Uh. Yeah, it's a butter landing. It's genuinely impossible to fly. There you go. <laughs> to fly properly there. With eight times speed, though. 
That was honestly quite impressive now. Uh, just the fact they were able to somewhat touch down on the runway. Now, once again, taxing can be a little bit of an issue. Look, for some reason, I can't even steer the nose right here. Like, look, the steering is absolutely impossible. Um, uh-oh. Ah, there we go. Now we stop. No worries. Somebody, the sim ray definitely makes your airplane unflyable. I mean, it's kind of useful on a long haul flight when you can, you know, two times the speed of the simulator. I don't really get why they chose 16 times available as well. Oh my God. But that just makes your airplane kind of unflyable in any state. Not even autopilot will be able to land with that. And we've done something. We're now in the Pacific Ocean going like a rocket at 16 times speed. So everybody, thank you guys much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishitetsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.